say welcome everyone, Cindy Williams, travel career coach. I am here with the amazing Michelle Graham. Tell us the name of your amazing travel agency. It is Be Our Guest. Be Our Guest. I love it. I love it. I love it. And you went through our mastermind program, right? I did indeed. Yes. So tell me a little bit, if you would share, where was your business before you started or where you were and where it is now? Got it. So I was that person who decided that I wanted to start a travel agency so that I could work from home and do something that I'm passionate about and help people enjoy their life with no experience whatsoever. I actually had just gotten my business license on March 1st and I started your program mid-March. Right? Yes. And, how, how, and before you were like, had the dream to kind of start where you're like, where do I get start? Cause you didn't, you had never been in the travel industry before. Never. I, I knew absolutely nothing. So between what I could research and conversations and um, figuring out what associations could give me training and all of a sudden here comes this opportunity, right? Just a couple weeks in, I have no information and along comes Miss Cindy Williams with this careers on vacation mastermind program. And I'm like, okay, this is my in. This is perfect. Yeah. And 12 weeks later, you have a fully functional business. I do. I, I have a Google page and I have a Facebook page and I have you know, Twitter and Instagram. I never even had an Instagram account. Had no <laughs> idea what I was doing. Um, you know, I, I was I was marketing and I was learning uh, the importance of uh, databases and you know reaching out to people, which yeah, I was and and it was wonderful. How to set it up from A to Z, and not only that, but doing it right from the beginning. Because we have a lot of people in the mastermind that they've been in the business five, 10, 20 years. And they're like, Oh my gosh, should have done this forever ago. But you said, I'm new to it. Let me, let me get, let me get the scoop from the beginning. Right. <laughs> and from, you know, from a leader in the industry, how good is that? Right at your beck and call, as you set up your business at your service. Yes. That's what we do. So tell me what has been Obviously, setting up your business is a huge win, right? You snap your fingers and three months later you have a business. But what's been, besides setting up your business, getting it off and running, getting your first vacations booked, all that good stuff, what's been your biggest win or celebration since you started the program? I was awarded last week um, Best Travel Agency in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Yay! Yeah. Round of applause! Yeah, I was so excited. I couldn't believe it. But here it is. The Albuquerque Journal does their poll, and I was blessed. Yes, I was. I'm, I'm still in shock. I am absolutely still in shock. Which is amazing. You kick off your business, and because we teach you the marketing piece, but also pe a lot of times people don't know how to get media and PR for their companies and doing some of the things we teach you in the program will help lead to awards, recognition, PR, media. And now you've won this award and they're doing write-ups. You told me they're doing write-ups, right? Yes, I will have an article in the newspaper and I'm gonna be part of a glossy magazine. Yay! Yes, ma'am, the 20,000 home that will go to. So mm -hmm. I, I'm waiting with bated breath to see exactly what will come of that. So yes. Very excited. Super exciting things for being first quarter in, right? <laughs> so, Michelle, another thing we do in our program is we, we focus on having an entrepreneurial mindset, what it takes to run a business, the challenges that are going to come across your desk, what it means to kind of run your business from home and being a solopreneur. Solo I, I hate that word and I love that word, but basically you're kind of on an island, right? From home. And you have some challenges come up in the program. So with the mind, which is normal, we all have time and regular stuff, but you had some above and beyond stuff and still, by the way, had a full-time job and got everything done on top of some of your challenges. But how did that mindset work support you or impact areas of your business or life? I've always been a proponent of uh, positive thinking. And so that has helped me through. But in your program, um, I got to take that a step further and the, the focus and getting up in the morning and setting my intentions and 
I found that that helped me in the middle of the day or in the evening when, you know, my, my brain's saying, did I do enough? Have I done? That if I, I took that and I, and I focused on that, then it helped me kind of find my rhythm. And so that's kind of been a, a blessing. So not only think positively, but the habit, the, the, the actual doing um, has supported me as I've gone through some of those times. And I do believe that that has made a difference because it's kept that goal in front of me. It's kept that vision in front of me. And it's obviously doing something because I just, won this award and you know my business is is growing and it's becoming known and um yeah be our guest is a tangible entity now i'm so excited yes tangible business and i I think what you said about getting clear and setting those intentions is really important because a lot of times people will come to us and they'll go oh i'm just too busy i'm too busy to be successful (laughs) right (laughs) so that's (laughs) but it's one of those things where people are like oh and And sometimes with the older agencies, it's just a matter of getting them automated properly and getting them adjusted in some of those, but having the mindset of work smarter, not harder, you can still have a hugely abundant business and do it in a way that you don't compromise family time. You don't compromise. And you, you took a big trip in the middle, right? I 17 day road trip, 6,300 miles. (laughs) <laughs> and what did we do? We're like, hey, while you're doing that, do, 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 right? For your marketing. So, that's exactly right. yeah. And that's the other thing. Like, if you're going on vacation, like, we get that. We're a vacation company. We're going to work. Not only are we going to work with you on that, but uh, also understand every time you take a vacation, let's figure out how to maximize that journey and turn it into an opportunity to monetize it for your business. So, I love that. The clarity, the setting the intention, having that, that mindset of an entrepreneur, it just, it makes a difference. And then as you go forward and you're graduating, you're like, I can do this. And when I come up against a challenge here, here are the tools that I need to kind of move past that. So that's awesome. And congrats to you for getting through everything that you did in that time period. Thank what, you. Would, what would you say, Michelle, to at the beginning, like, was it hard for you to jump in and get started after you kind of did some research on the program? What, did you have to come, overcome any hurdles before you began? Structure for me um, was difficult. Making those adjustments to go from what I'd been doing for 13 years, right? Getting up at seven, leaving the house at 830, working my nine to five job, coming home, and making the time in the morning to sit in and review what my goals are for the day have those happy thoughts about what i want to accomplish Mm -hmm. um it it did take a little bit because it was awkward it felt weird it wasn't what i was used to but you know i i trusted the program i told myself i'm in it to win it so let's follow the process it's obviously something that um, has been proven to work and let's just do it and it took a few weeks but um you know after that like I said those thoughts became my go-tos you Mm -hmm. know I'm having a moment so let me go back to this and it kind of put me in a good place so yeah I mean it it was very strange to to make that change yeah and what did you like the one of the things I think is so powerful about one you mentioned having access to me but two being in a mastermind group where you're seeing other people already accomplished what you're about to do, right? So we have people in the mastermind. Was Did you feel like that was supportive? When you came up against those moments where you were like, I'm having a moment, like, <laughs> that, like, did, you, like did you reflect back on so-and-so said this or so-and-so went through this? Was that helpful? That was one of my favorite parts. Yeah. I mean, you know, getting into that group and seeing um, all the other people in various stages of their business um, going through the same things, having the same fears, having the same questions, having the same, oh my goodness, this is my third time asking this question because I can't get it right. <laughs> oh, you know, can you show me this again? Or um, even having the conversations with those ladies and their suggestions and their support and the, hey, I've been there and I've done this. Um, and, and not just in our um, meetings, but the resources that we had on the internet. Uh, those made a big difference because, yeah, I, you know, it may be an island because I'm here in my own home, but I'm not on an island. You know, I yes. do have 
tools and it afforded me that opportunity to reach out. It was wonderful. Yeah, and we have this huge, I always say our community within the travel industry is amazing. I mean, there's, I don't talk about other groups. I only, you know me, I'm super positive, so I'm all high energy, but there's some groups out there where they look down on new agents. So they're like, if you're going to be in this industry, you should know this. But guess what? All of y'all had to start somewhere, right? So, <laughs> right, like you are, but guess what? I bet, I bet, you know, five out of 10 or if more of those people would love to have a best of their city award for a travel agency and you're 12 weeks out newbie showing all of those companies up. Right. So, and, but that's not my thing. We support each other. Like you can choose to support each other into abundance or, you know, and that's one of those things where in our advocacy work, we focus on that and some of the free trainings we do, but in our mastermind, having the, the combination of the community that supports you, being able to ask questions through the process, that it's such a beautiful thing because now everyone goes into the grad group and you don't lose those relationships. You're part of that community for life. I know you're coming out for a VIP day to work on your, your program next year and all that good stuff, but whether you're doing a retreat or you're just taking advantage of the free grad group that comes after the program, you still have those relationships and those supportive people that go, what were those, you know, if you have to ask the question a fourth time, there's someone that's going to write, right? <laughs> Which, by the way, is so normal because in our industry, the, the secret I tell people is like, you, you're not a travel agent. Like, yes, you're a travel agent. Of course, that's the service that you deliver. You are the owner of an online business, an online marketing business, really. You have to approach your business with that mindset if you want to compete in today's marketplace. And of course, not everyone's an Instagram expert or a, a Facebook expert, SEO expert or sales expert, all those, those different things. The running the business hat, right, of your business is separate from learning to be a travel agent. So you have to kind of combine and marry those together if everything's going to kind of come together at the end, if that makes sense. So having that support, I think is, is a beautiful thing. So I'm glad. And uh, I think that, you know, that's why I put the group the, together the way I did, because yes, it's great to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, but when you get that, that additional community, you still get the one-on-one -on -one plus you get this amazing, you know, camaraderie, sisterhood, brotherhood, whatever you want to call it of support. Right. <laughs> exactly. And you're, and you're able to reach out and get, you know, take advantage of another person's exposure and experiences yeah. and, you know, things that are, are other people may not have come across that they've, you know, had to deal with and they can say, Hey, here's my advice or, you know, here's a resource for you. And, you know, I love reading, reading the boards and, and, you know, I, I love uh, turning on my notifications for this post if there's something that comes up that truly interests me. And, you know, I admire those people who have started where I am and have gotten to where I want to be. And then all the people in the middle of the process as well, because every day they're doing it. And yeah. you follow the program, you follow the steps, you get your mindset, and you're going to get there. Yeah, you sure will. No doubt. Right. <laughs> so would you recommend careers on vacation to others who are kind of in the same place you are? Either they have never started uh, an agency or you worked with a lot of people that were agents for a long time. Would you recommend it to other people? Uh, on a scale of one to 10, I'd give it a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I've never had that answer before. Um, Yes, I would. Yes, I would. And, and it's because it touches on all the elements. It does touch on um, your, your person, yourself, your, your thinking. It touches on running the business, right? It touches on being an agent. It touches on um, just, you know, dream big and, and being part of and creating something and having faith that it will happen for you. And I have a big old binder with all of, you know, all of our lessons in there. And I start again and start again and start again. And I've had to do that several times over, you know, my experience um, due to some situations that were going on, but that's been my, my rock. And uh, it has not let me down, you know, not at all. Here I am, best travel agency in Rio Rancho, their inaugural year, 2018, right? Being I love it. New. It works. It absolutely works. And, and I think um, 
absolutely take the opportunity. And it's not a chance. It truly is an opportunity mm -hmm. to, to do yourself and your business some good. I just wrote a post recently and I said, uh, notice I didn't use the word spend. It's an, when you're spending money, when you're investing in yourself and in your business, it's an, it's an investment, not an expenditure. It's not, you're not buying a fancy pair of shoes, right? You yeah. get this, like you said, you have your binder. You have this great toolbox now forever that when you come across this problem, boom, it's on page 73 with a process that I should follow to fix it or whatever, right? So you have that tool. And the, the other piece I think is like, this is why I have an email that goes out and I'm like, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Like, peop, yes, we have wait lists and yes, we sell out the program every month, but, but the, I'm not changing it because I'm only one person I can only work with so many people and make sure they're being successful, right? We're not selling a fish dinner. We're teaching you how to fish. We're giving you that toolbox. So keeping the group and the process the way it is, is really important to me to make sure people are having the results that they want to get out of the program. Right. And, um, you know, the, it's a, it's a beautiful thing because it's not how many, pro, like I, I ask people all the time, like, how many programs do you have on your computer right now you've never even opened up? You bought them somewhere or books that you bought and they're piling up in your office. Like I always say it's a hobby to buy stuff, like kind of like crafts. Like, like one hobby is going to Michael's and buying the craft stuff. <laughs> and then do you actually ever go home and make the freaking craft, right? right? How many useless things do you have on your computer that you bought or thought would be good and you're trying to duct tape all this crap together? Like get the comprehensive A to Z either how to grow or how to start, whatever. Um, but that's the toolbox of, that I think is so powerful. And when we engage it in having direct access to me as, as an industry expert, you don't, I, can't, I couldn't offer that to a thousand people a month. I can't offer it to 10. You know? So it's one of those things where it's like, uh, you know, work-life balance. I'm sorry, but not sorry. Because it, it works, right? I would rather impact 10 people in a really beautiful way than just have this mass thing that that's not gonna you know it's gonna be on your laptop and you're not gonna do anything with it exactly and i think that speaks to the integrity of the program yep right um i'm not out to sell to a thousand people i'm out to help a hundred people do fabulous things with their life yeah. and you know it, and i on a personal note i do appreciate that and i have to tell you that i felt that throughout because it was not um it wasn't rote you know it was very personal and it was very um i'm going to connect with you it's not about me just getting it out there and getting you through the program so i can put you know more people in there it truly was you are a human being and i'm a human being and we're <laughs> going to work this together and we're going to do great things and so again i do think that that speaks to the integrity of the program well, thank you. And everyone's goals are different. So your goals were different from the next person. So working with people on what they want to accomplish. Some people just want more time. Some people want this huge business and they want to be workaholics and that's fine too. But you have to take that custom approach because people all have different goals, right? So last question, what do you want to say to that person who's been watching all these freaking testimonials? And they've been sitting on the fence and they're like, Ooh, is it for me? Is it not for me? What do you want to say out of love and kindness or whatever to that person to help them in their journey? Uh, just do it. <laughs> believe in yourself. The, the program, believe in the program. I know that you don't know the program in order to say, hey, it, it sounds good or it, or it is good. Take it from somebody who has started from ground zero and has now gotten my foot through the door where I've got these huge opportunities coming my way. Um, believe in yourself and this program will take wherever you want to go. I love it. You heard it from Michelle, guys. You heard it from her first. Well, I am so proud of all your progress in the program. It's such a beautiful thing to go from not working a day in your life in the travel industry to having <laughs> the best travel agency in your local area. Hello. That's, that's right. amazing. So that's a beautiful, beautiful thing and just a testament to your hard work because you showed up, you did the work, you were committed, and uh, it works if you work. And so it's a good thing. It does. Yes. Well, got
Yeah, guys, follow Michelle. She's amazing. So we're going to link her information below so you can follow her on social media and all that good stuff. And listen, if you are struggling in your travel business, you've been stuck or at a plateau, or you've never been in travel and you're like, oh, I could never do that. Look at Michelle's story. Zero to 100 in 12 weeks, right? You can do this. Let's roll up our sleeves, get the job done. Book the link, uh, click the link below to schedule a discovery call and apply for the program, or just do the discovery call to have your clarity session to get clear on your goals and next steps uh, to really crystallize what you want to accomplish with your business. We'll help you with that. That's so helpful. So Michelle, again, thank you for joining us today and sharing your amazing journey. I'm so happy and happy graduation. Thank you. Thank you. You guys. <laughs> You really need to do this, honest, honest, honest. And Miss Cindy, thank you. I have been blessed. Oh my gosh, you are so welcome. And I will see you in Austin soon or at a retreat or something like that. And in the grad group. We'll see you tomorrow in the grad group, right? If you have questions. <laughs> I love it. Thanks for, thanks for joining us, Michelle.